Hello students, welcome to class 5 EVS. Today, we are going to discuss the chapter, What if it finishes? What does the word it refer here? The word it refers something which is very important in our daily life. That is why the title of the chapter itself says what will happen if it finishes. So, what is that it which is mentioned here? The word it refers to the fuel which we are using in our daily life. These fuels are fossil fuels that takes millions of years to form. So, when we have used it all up, we cannot quickly get more. Studies reveal that the existing supplies will run out in 50 years' time. So, isn't it high time to think, what if it finishes? The main objective of this lesson is to understand the importance of different types of resources in our daily life. Differentiate between renewable and non-renewable resources. Recognize the various types of fuel we use in our daily life. Look at this picture. You can see many vehicles on the road. How do they move? Do they need anything for their movement? Vehicles that run on road, in water or in air all need fuel. What is fuel? Fuel is any artificial or naturally occurring substance which after burning, that means reacting with oxygen, releases a large amount of energy which can be used for domestic and industrial processes. In short, we can say that it is a material that is used to produce heat or power by burning. That means we also need fuel to do various kinds of job. How do we get energy? We get energy from the food we eat. So, fuel for our body is the food we eat. Fuel is a resource. What do we mean by resource? A resource is a physical material that humans need and value, such as land, air, and water. Natural resources are important in our life because they are used to sustain life and meet people's requirements. Any natural substance that people utilize can be recognized as a natural resource. For instances, natural resources combine fresh water, animals, air, rocks, minerals, sun, plants, soil, timber, gas, etc. There are two types of energy sources, renewable and non-renewable energy sources. Let's see them in detail. Renewable resources. 
the resources which cannot be exhausted even after continuous utilization renewable resources can regrow or be replaced renewable resources include timber wind and solar energy non renewable resources a non renewable resource has a limited supply these resources cannot be immediately replaced once they are depleted non renewable resources include coal and petroleum so you just tell me the fuels that we are using in our daily life for running vehicles and cooking food are they renewable or non renewable they are non renewable sources of energy although fossil fuels are continually formed by natural processes but they are generally classified as non renewable resources because they take millions of years to form and are being depleted much faster than new ones are generated what are the different types of fuels different types of fuels are solid fuel liquid fuels and gaseous fuels an example of a solid fuel is coal liquid fuels are petrol diesel kerosene etc gaseous fuels are cng and lpg so from where do we get these fuels we get these fossil fuels from petroleum so what is petroleum petroleum also called crude oil it's a naturally occurring liquid found beneath the earth surface that can be refined into fuel it is formed from the remains of dead plants and animals how is petroleum formed 300 to 400 million years ago tiny sea plants and animals died and were buried on the ocean floor and over time they were covered by layers of sand and sediment which turned into sedimentary rock over millions of years the remains were buried deeper and deeper where the enormous heat and pressure from inside the earth and the rock above turn them into oil and gas heat and pressure turn dead plants into coal petroleum can be found beneath land or the ocean floor there crude oil is extracted with giant drilling machines these giant drilling machines are called oil rigs oil rigs are used to draw crude oil from beneath the earth's surface a picture showing an oil rig in arabian sea can be seen here crude oil is a mixture of petrol diesel kerosene cng lpg etc to meet user requirements crude oil must be separated converted and treated in a process known as refining so what is refining of petroleum 
the process of separating the various constituents of petroleum is known as refining of petroleum. Where do fossil fuels originally get their energy from? The sun is called the ultimate source of energy because it is the source of almost all energies of the earth. Plants convert light energy from the sun into chemical energy, that is food, by the process of photosynthesis. Animals eat plants and use that energy for all their activities. When plants and animals die, their remains, which consist of material directly or indirectly made with the help of sunlight, are buried in the earth and converted into fossil fuels such as coal and petroleum. Hence, the sun is the ultimate source of fossil fuels. In the same way, when we burn wood, it releases energy that trees capture from the sun. When we burn fossil fuels to release the energy that ancient plants captured from the sun. So, dear children, what have you learnt in today's class? We have learnt Fuel is a material that is used to produce heat or power by burning. A resource is a physical material that humans need and value such as land, air and water. The resources which cannot be exhausted even after continuous utilization are called renewable resources, whereas the resources that cannot be immediately replaced once they are depleted are called non-renewable resources. Petroleum, also called crude oil, is a naturally occurring liquid found beneath the earth's surface that can be refined into fuel. It is formed from the remains of dead plants and animals. Oil rigs are used to draw crude oil from beneath the earth's surface. The process of separating the various constituents of petroleum is known as refining of petroleum. Sun is the ultimate source of energy. With this, we come to the end of today's session. Thank you, dear children, and have a great day.